All right, today we're going to cover how to write the equation of a perpendicular bisector. Before we can begin that, we better review exactly what a perpendicular bisector is. As you may recall, a perpendicular bisector of a segment breaks a segment into two equal parts and makes a right angle with that segment. In this case, we're writing a perpendicular bisector of one of the sides of the triangle. So the segment is actually one of the sides. As you can see, I'm going to focus on side AB. I've sketched in a, a picture of this perpendicular bisector, and you should too. I've marked the right angles, and I've marked the two segments that result as being equal to each other. As far as what information you need to write the equation of a line, notice I've written down the point-slope formula, and then we need a point that is on the line and the slope of the line. If you look at the red drawing, none of the points are known, but we do know that that point right here is a midpoint. So one of the first things we want to do is calculate what the midpoint is. Recall that the midpoint can be found by taking the average of the x's of the endpoint. So we're going to take the negative 9 and the 5. And negative 9 plus 5 over 2 comes out to be negative 4 over 2. And that's equal to negative 2. So that's going to be the x-coordinate of this point. And then for the y-coordinate, we're going to average the negative 2 and the 4. That comes out to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. We now have the coordinates of the midpoint of the that happens to be on the perpendicular bisector. So the coordinates are negative 2 and 1. Secondly, I need to know the slope of the red line. And I don't have enough points on the red line to actually calculate using the, the slope calculation formula. But I can find the slope of AB. And since the slope is going to be the negative reciprocal of the red line, I can take the negative reciprocal to find the slope of the perpendicular bisector. So to calculate the slope of AB, it's going to be negative 2 minus 4 over negative 9 minus 5. That ends up equaling a negative 6 over a negative 14. And as far as how much you clean this up, I would certainly clean up at least the signs. So it's going to be positive. And since both are divisible by 2, we can reduce a fraction also. Uh, your own teacher would have to tell you whether they care about that or not. So the slope of the perpendicular bisector, however, is going to be the negative reciprocal of 3 7 So we flip it over and change the sign, negative 7 thirds. So these are the two pieces of information that we're going to use to write our equation. Using my point-slope formula right here, y minus, and I've got to grab the point that's on the perpendicular bisector. So y minus 1 is equal to our negative 7 thirds slope that we found, times x minus a minus 2. And whenever you get used to seeing these two negatives together, not a bad idea to just clean that up to a positive sign. So what you have right here is the equation of the perpendicular bisector of side AB. Here's a problem for you to try. You should do it on your separate piece of paper, which you should turn in at the beginning of next class. As you can see, there are four si uh, three sides, so you could make a perpendicular bisector for any of them, but why don't you go ahead and write the equation of the perpendicular bisector of side WY. 
and that will finish this session for writing the equation of a perpendicular bisector.